Hey, welcome back. This is Abby from Optimal Communications. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to change the time on IP Office 500 V2, release 7.0 and above. All right. This is how you change the time using the IP Office 500 V2. And this is method 1. We're using the PC as a time server. So the first thing I'm going to want you to do is pull a configuration. All right. Username is administrator and the password is administrator. Then I want you to go to start and I want you to open up a command prompt. For those of you who do not know what command prompt is, let's go to start. We're going to go to run and we're going to type in CMD. I want you to type in, once you get into the command prompt, I want you to hit IP config. At this point, you're going to realize that uh, you have an IP address. This is very important. Make sure you write this down. We're going to go back to manager. I'm going to go to the systems tab. Now let it boot. Next, we're going to move over to where it says time server IP, and we're going to enter that IP address that we just got from the PC. We have to make sure it's in there. Since mine is already in there, then what I'm going to do is I just want to confirm that that's the number. And I'm going to make a small change here just to save the configuration. In your case, you're going to enter the new IP information and you're going to save it. You're going to merge it. And once you get here, you copy and paste administrator. And now the uh, time should update on your phone system. Alright guys, that wraps up today's tutorial. Thank you for watching. My name is Abby from Optimal Communications. Keep in mind there's many different ways to change the time on an IP office system. So if this method didn't work for you, then leave me a comment in the comment bar. I'll be more than happy to make a new video. If you have any questions, you can give us a call at 1-800-270-9204.